Hey, what's going on friends and family? Welcome back to another episode of BKL Reviews. And today, man, this was something that I didn't expect. Uh, Nike did a, uh, what do you call that? A shock drop and I was able to secure this pair. I was very surprised. I'm very excited also to see how it look. It is the first model of a, a new release. Uh, but before we get started with any of that, I definitely want to encourage everyone to hit that thumbs up button. It surely goes a long way. And also, if you haven't done it as of yet, guys, please show your love and support by hitting that subscribe button that's in the lower right hand corner. With no further ado, let's get into the review. Well, as I said earlier, this was something that was more of a shock drop. Um, I received notifications to check your Nike account to see if you got access. I did, and I was able to secure it. Um, but Let's check it out. Had to find my trusty old knife. I know it's been a while since we did a, a Nike unboxing uh, on the channel. So very excited to see this one. And also, I'm to be honest with you guys, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little bit of a fan of this player as well. Uh, not as a player, but his actual sneakers in general. Um, low key, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, um, so let me move this out of the way and see. I'm gonna move it out the way so I don't knock over the camera. Nike always puts this bubble wrap inside of it, which is always good. Voila. And of course, you already know, for the receipt police, love to show you these right here. But, First off, I can tell you right now, this box look amazing. I love the graphic on here, LeBron 17. And if you're not familiar with the image on it, it is a lion. Here's the top of the crown and then the face is right there. You see the two eyes, there you go. Really cool. Uh, you have more brand in here, LeBron 17. Uh, what else it has? It has a Nike swoosh here. Kind of kind of reminds me of like the off-white branding uh, on their boxes. Like I said, here's the actual crown. So let's check out the size label. So as you can see, it is a LeBron 17 Limited. Uh, the style code of this is CT3843100. And I did go up a uh, half size, mainly because I do have LeBrons and I know I have to go up a half size in this. The color scheme is white, tech gray, and purple. And suggested retail was $200 on this. So let's see. Okay, standard tissue paper, no, nothing on it. Looks like they just threw, threw, threw them in the box, but it's not bad. What you say You can never say it to my face This me you get sweaty, no delay Wow Man, these are definitely Different and unique I really do like them a lot I I was on the fence At first when I seen images of it But Man, this is definitely nice If you're not familiar With this sneaker, this is the latest uh, LeBron 17s and this color, I think it's called Future of Air. And I honestly like it. I like the shape of the sneaker. It kind of reminds me of uh, one of my favorite models of the LeBrons, which was the 10s. So the shape of it kind of reminds me of that. So definitely, guys, we got to get into details of this. So first off, the upper. Uh, I know uh, the last LeBrons I had was like the 15s, if I'm not mistaken and they introduced battle knit, was more like a prime knit, but more tougher, or more durable, sorry, not tougher. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a knit posit. So honestly, when you rub your hands across it, it kind of feels like a stiff woven material, but it does, does have some stretch to it, as you can see. And on the inside of it, it kind of feels like it's 
plastic on the inside. So that is definitely good for durability. Oh, sorry, durability. Um, they do have a translucent uh, midsole here. And I do like this iridescent reverse Nike swoosh. I'm not sure if they're taking this from uh, Travis Scott because anything that Travis do with a reverse Nike swoosh is definitely a sellout. Straight up. So this was definitely nice. And I have to say this air unit here is like one of the biggest air units that I have seen on a basketball sneaker ever. It reminds me of the Nike 270s, uh, looking at the air unit. And if I'm not mistaken, if what I remember, it has additional uh, air units or air pods here as well. You do have somewhat of a iridescent translucent outsole. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but there you go right there. As we go to the toe box, you're able to see that uh, knit posit material a lot better. I do have to say there's two different uh, types of material. So if I had to guess, I would probably say this area here is the knit posit, and this is just prime knit here because it, it feels totally different. It feels like regular uh, prime knit. You have your standard white laces, and then you have this image here, which is like a iridescent, reflectable, which is pretty cool. It is a lion face there. You have your LeBron branding right there. Only one thing I could probably say will be difficult is to lace it. You do have some leather behind it on the tongue. There you go. It's pretty cool. The same what on the lateral side of the sneaker, that knit posit material. And then you can see where the stitching separates from the two. And you have your translucent uh, midsole as well. And here is your branding to let you know that it is knit posit. Kind of has that iridescent look to it. And it also has a LeBron branding. As we go to the back, this is pretty cool right here. It kind of reminds me of the phone posits uh, where it says remove before launch. And as you can see, it is uh, translucent. So you can see the table underneath. There you go. It's pretty cool. I like that. Let's check out the insole for you guys. Man, this insole is in here pretty, pretty tough. As you can hear in the video, the glue, as you can see, I ripped it off and the glue was there. So this is pretty much how the actual uh, sole is. You have the big zoom air unit here. As you can see, it has branding on it. LeBron Impact. Pretty cool. It's a big air unit. And then you also have two other air units here. Definitely nice. I do like that. As we go to the outsole, you're able to see what I was talking about earlier, guys. You do have your LeBron signature here. Very nice. And this is the first air unit here. It is a big air unit. It kind of takes up more than uh, half of the sneaker. And then these are the two separate air unit pods here as well. More towards the front of the sneaker. It's very unique. I do like that. Uh, and as I said earlier, it does kind of have like that translucent, iridescent look to it. Yeah. Overall, I do like the sneaker. It has a orange interior, as you can see. And like I said earlier, look, I want you to see this, guys, but it is kind of like two different uh, materials here. You have the orange, and then you also have the knit posit here on the outside. This is definitely nice. I do like it a lot, guys. I was on the fence um, about this release because I really wasn't sure exactly what I was going to get, but I am happy I ended up pulling the trigger. I know they have a black and gold color that LeBron will be wearing on the first uh, NBA game, which I think is a home game. So I'm definitely excited to see that pair in person. But overall, I'm liking the 17s. Like I said earlier, it reminds me of one of my favorite silhouettes, uh, the 10s. So I'm or already a fan of the actual silhouette of the sneaker. Uh, let me know what you think. Was this a pair that you was able to secure with the Nike Shop Drop? Um, I think it has a worldwide, a worldwide release date of the 27th of this month. Um, would, this a, would this be a pair that you're actually going after? Let me know in the comments below and we can discuss. 
Uh, definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning into another video of BK Overviews. Uh, like I said earlier, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the content, only thing that I ask of you is to hit that thumbs up button. It surely goes a long way. And also subscribe to the channel. It's the best way of staying up to date with the most recent content. And you can also follow me on the social media platform. With all that being said, with no further ado, I definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning into another video of BKO Reviews.